Today, I have the easiest shulker farm that you can make on Bedrock Edition. We recently did my ultra fast, no redstone model and it gets 21 stacks of shells per hour. And it made me think, we need something extremely simple that anyone can build in their world in no time. If you enjoy Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorials, show it and support the channel by clicking the like button and subscribing right now. And drop me a comment below on what farm you want to see next. I might just make it. Okay, so first things first is you need a location and that location is going to be in the end. So you need to have beaten the Ender Dragon or gotten out to these outer end cities in some way, shape or form. And once you do, any end city will work. It could be a tiny one like this. It could be a big one like the one down there. It doesn't really matter because every single end city has the two things that you need. Two shulkers right here at the front entrance. We're not gonna mess with these guys yet though because before you do anything with that, you need to know and plan out and set up the actual farm itself. And these guys, they'll get moved in last. Now, the main thing you need to do is to make sure you're at least like 12 blocks away from anything that the shulkers can attach to because they'll they'll teleport and they'll attach to things. So I got this spot right here. This sits kind of high. It's pretty close to the city. So this should be pretty good. And there were some um, some chorus plants here. The shulkers can attach to chorus plants. So get rid of them within at least a 12 block radius of these structures that you're about to put up. Now you're going to start out with, I think two sets of double chests should do it. You're probably not going to need a ton of storage. You can, of course, do more if you want to. We're going to put a hopper in, a hopper in. Place a temporary block right there. Face another hopper forward and then face a hopper down. That's it. That's the storage system. It's that easy. Next, we're going to go out two blocks in each direction from this hopper and build ourselves a little five by five platform. While you're at it, put yourself a border around that platform as well. And while our platform would be finished here by just placing a water in each corner, we're actually gonna make this platform a little bit bigger, make an extension to it, because I found a way with this super duper easy shulker farm to actually make it three times faster. And all you gotta do is put down a few extra blocks, that's it. There's no extra real setup required. You're just gonna place a few extra blocks down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this in the direction of our end city, so we have to move our shulkers a little bit less far. We're gonna put a couple blocks here, couple blocks here and we're going to bring this out six more blocks so one two three four five and six and just make a little runway right here you can use any solid blocks you want for this or fine it doesn't matter what solid blocks you use go ahead and fill this in around to make a little border and either place yourself some signs or some fence gates to go across right here because we're going to use this to block our water it's gonna go here and keep it from flowing in. We don't want the water to actually flow in there. Next, you're gonna to wanna to build up from this uh, center block right here. You're gonna to wanna to go up to keep things nice and safe. We're gonna go up 14 blocks from this. This will make sure our shulkers don't teleport somewhere we don't want them to like the tops of here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks. Now this top block right here, this needs to be a solid block. The rest of them, they can go. Now from this solid block, we're gonna make your platform to make it a little bit easier to work up here. So you're gonna end up coming down by two, by three and then over by two like this. These blocks, those are temporary because we're gonna play, make ourselves a little place to stand here and this has to be made out of glass. So go ahead and just make a little three by three platform right there, just like that, leaving a one block gap between where this block is up here and your platform over here because we don't want those shulker shells to fall down onto our platform. Now, if you wanna make an easy way up that shulkers can't attach to, bring yourself some scaffolding or you can you know, make a, uh, some stairs with some like glass blocks or something. Again, it has to be something shulkers can attach to and that'll be your way up. And you need to put a little roof on this thing. And again, you wanna make that out of glass. That roof can be just directly over top of your standing platform. Now, next thing you want to do is put a second block right here. You wanna go four temporary blocks, one, two, three, and four, and put another two blocks right here. And this is where your shulkers are gonna go. Now, we wanna make sure the shulkers cannot attach to anything except the bottoms of these. So we're gonna put buttons around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, like so. Now shulkers will only be able to attach to the bottom. And lastly, over here, stand in the middle, take your eight armor stands and place them just like this. This will keep any shulker shells from hitting you. You have zero to worry about. You are invincible 
from shulkers at this point. Now, next, we need to get some shulkers up here and we wanna make sure when we bring them up here, that they don't appear down here. So you're gonna probably place down some some temporary blocks and just make yourself like a little like staircase, I guess, going down. Now, the reason you're going down from the top instead of like starting from over there by the shulkers is because those dudes, they're gonna shoot you with shulker shells and it's extremely annoying. So rather than having to deal with that headache, it's much easier to just start over here and work your way downwards instead. Um, another thing I suggest you do before you start laying your rail down, just to make life a little bit easier, I would like come over here and just block the shulkers from being able to see you. You could put whatever you want over here, uh, but just kind of like peek over the edge a little bit, place down a few blocks. Now that dude, when you're here, like he can't see you, he's not gonna shoot you. Now you're gonna wanna run your rails. You don't need to bring them all the way to the edge. I would just like bring it up to right here and uh, use however many powered rails you feel comfortable using. I'm just gonna put all powered rails down. And of course, make sure you power them. Now get your rails run all the way over to your little in city right here. Make sure everything is powered. And then now we wanna make this as easy as possible. I'm gonna recommend at this point, you kind of break into the back and you wanna keep these guys from shooting you. We're going to, he's probably gonna shoot you from right here, but that's fine. Just go ahead and block them off just like this. And this will make life a little bit easier for you when you come back around over here. And then we're going to want to break this. And we're, we're honestly going to need to like build up. We're going to break this one. We're going to try to put one right in front of him right there without getting shot. That should buy you a little bit of space too. break this guy right here and put another one right up here. And of course, rails can be funky in corners. So we're going to fix this. We're gonna to wanna to break this now. This is where you're probably gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get shot at. Like there's, there's no way around it. It's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna put a lever right here. Go ahead and put your powered rail right here. And then lastly, your mine cart can go down. Now, when this mine cart is sat right beside a shulker, it should get into mine cart automatically. If it doesn't, log out of your game and log back in. There's a few bugs that have to do with like doing this and that will fix it. Also, if you go to touch this when that rail is turned on and he doesn't move, relog, it'll fix that as well. But we're gonna move this shulker on up now. So all we gotta do is tap the cart. Um, I did not power that rail, which is my fault. You're gonna follow this dude up. And once he gets up here, just give that a whack. He's probably gonna do that. He's gonna attach there when he's don't want to. And he should either automatically teleport to an available spot or you can log out of your game and log back in if he doesn't and he will teleport his way over there. Just give him a few seconds. So now we just need to move the other one. Kind of same process. We can recycle some of this. Remember, we're gonna wanna go up one and over one. So we want the cart to stop like right there. So whatever you gotta do to do that, Pop your cart down right beside him. Again, you're gonna get shot some, so you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that you're gonna be levitating some. This is the part that sucks the most about doing a shulker farm, no matter what way you do it. Everybody else always just shows you, hey, put a shulker here. I'm trying to show you guys how to trap them and move them as like painlessly as possible. Once you get him up there, break that. Give him a few seconds, he should teleport. Oh, look, he's attached to this button right here. If we re-log, he should move. Interesting, he does not want to move. So what should you do in this case? Just don't bring him up that high. Make your ramp stop like right there instead. What happened was he was he stopped right beside this with that block touching it. He thought he could attach there. Now, if I do this, he shouldn't, he shouldn't be able to go there. This dude, as you can see, like he's kind of bugged out. There's not really much you can do about that except relog. And give him a second and this should fix your problem. There he goes. Awesome. So now take all of this down. You will not need to move any more shulkers here. And let's talk about why this setup is what this setup is. Shulkers will shoot at the player. So when the player is standing right there in the center, what's gonna happen is both of these shulkers will see you there because of the distance that we've put ourselves away. They can both see us and they will both shoot. Problem is, is this dude right here, he is gonna shoot his friend right here and this shulker is gonna die if these are the only two shulkers within four blocks of this area. Then when this shulker kills this shulker, a new one will automatically appear in its place. That is why we have a four block gap right there. 
if the shulker that's going to end up being here was just one block closer, that automatic 100% guaranteed duplication would not work. But now you may be wondering, Prowl, why did I only bring two shulkers up here and I have two more spots? You said I didn't have to bring any more shulkers and that is correct because every single time this dude shoots this dude, there is a small percentage chance that he duplicates a new shulker. And where are the spaces available for a new shulker to go to? Well, they are here and here. So after you plop yourself down right here and let these dudes fire at you, after a short period of time, probably like 10 to 20 minutes, I guess it's kind of short, AFK here for a little bit. When you come back, you'll see that you have a total of four shulkers. Now, once you have four shulkers, we tripled the speed of the farm because now this guy can kill this guy, this guy can kill this guy, and this guy can kill this guy. All we had to do was put down a little bit of extra water down bottom and two extra blocks up top. And we took our super duper, like efficient, fast to build shulker farm and we made it three times faster. So now all you gotta do, sit right here, AFK. These guys will kill each other and they'll drop their goodies down into the water below. And before you know it, you're gonna have a lot of shulker shells. There we go, you can see them dying, shulker shells falling in and going into our chest. That's it guys, that's how you build the super duper incredibly easy yet kind of fast for the work involved shulker farm. If you enjoyed this, which if you're still here, you did. Click the like button right now. It helps so many more people find this video. You have to also leave a comment. And for the few of you that are watching right now that are not subscribed, if you like Bedrock Edition tutorials, I'm the place to be because that's what I do. So drop me a subscribe as well. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.